Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for you. This morning I want to go through the same Ajax kind of thing we did last time, only we're going to use jQuery instead of Scriptaculous. jQuery is a little more popular, so it's probably something you're more interested in. If you go to the configuration screen for both login and view, you want to change out from the thing you were using to JQ Google Library. So if you go to configure, you go in here and you just move the things out from this side and back over, and then put JQ Google Library over there. That's all you need to do on this side. Once you've done that, it's a very small change to blog menu view because pretty much we're already doing all the updating of the uh, filters. All we need to do is change this to use jQuery. So you come in here to the on-click method, and again, you're going to use jQuery on the list ID. You notice it's a symbol instead of a string, but otherwise it's very simple. Load, HTML, and then again, instead of the render component, instead of that kind of thing, the block is pretty much the same. You just get handed HTML. You tell the list component to update the filter, and then you tell the HTML piece to render the list component. So again, it's going to render just that little piece based on what you tell it here. It just looks a little different. It's set up a little different than it was before. Let's see how that all functions. It should work from the perspective of the end user exactly identically. So let's go over here. We'll go out to the top, and we'll go to blog view. And again, I've set this up so that you have the today and yesterday. So let's go to today's posts and yesterday's posts, or all posts rather, and you see it's Ajaxified the same way. In fact, behaves identical to the way it was before. The only difference is we're using jQuery instead of Scriptaculous, but otherwise, all works pretty much the same. And that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.